Breakfast Club, bitches. Good morning, USA. Yo, 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 Hey, good morning, Charlemagne. Peace to the planet. It's Monday. Yes, and we are about to have maybe possibly the worst snowstorm ever. That's what the streets is saying. Is it really supposed to be that bad? They said three feet of snow. They're saying three feet or more. Nobody in Miami wants to hear that right now, but hey, it's affecting us here, okay? <laughs> actually, it's affecting a lot of people because over 600 flights were canceled. They said uh, more than 3,200 flights, actually. Yeah, yesterday thought, was 600. Yeah. My flight, I was supposed to go to D.C. today. That got canceled yesterday. So it affects everybody everywhere. Yeah, I saw flights. You said over 600, 3,000. Yeah, 3,200 flights. More than 3,200 flights have been canceled. Well, you know, I went to the grocery store yesterday. You know, I had to make sure I have enough little Debbie snacks. And enough Remy Martin at the crib, you know? You're a classy guy. Yes, I am. And matter of fact, I need to make sure we got enough Remy Martin in here just in case things get real and we get stuck here. Now, my okay? friend and her husband are staying in my house. They just came in yesterday because they're moving back to New York and they were looking. He's looking for a new job. He's a doctor. Oh. So all of his interviews, I think, are going to be canceled. You picked a great week next. to come back, buddy. Well, he didn't know. You know, but yeah, it's going to be pretty bad. We're going to give you all those updates and let you know what's going on as far as travel, as far as the weather. How does it affect everybody? Um, and all you morbid people, please stay away from me. Like I'm in the grocery store yesterday and this white guy goes, hey, tomorrow's a big storm. You ready to die? <laughs> the hell you mean? Oh, am I ready to die? Shut up. That sounds crazy. Yeah, get the hell away from me. I was in Detroit over the weekend, so glad I made it back today. But you know, I love Detroit. And, um, Did you see Trick Trick? Did he give you a pass for the no I didn't see zone? Trick Trick, but I always party at this place called the White House, so we had a really good time. Salute to Trick Trick out there. Did yeah. you do any drugs? No. Oh, okay. I'm just thinking we had a nice but. conversation about drugs Friday. It was, I thought it was a very positive convo about shrooms and stuff. Where is Envy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Did you notice that he wasn't here? No, I never do. I don't notice when he is here. Well, DJ Envy is, I guess, on his way. No, I saw him. Wasn't he in Arizona or something yesterday? Oh, he's not here today. And he tweeted something about he missed his flight wasn't going to come in. I don't know, man. I don't care. All right. Yeah. Well, I guess Envy's not here today. <laughs> One beige monkey don't stop the show. <laughs> right? but we are going to get into front page news. We'll tell you about all the canceled flights. Yes. We'll tell you to be careful if you're planning to go anywhere, if you have company coming. Yes. How is this going to affect you? Uh, we got all of that for you in front page news. Tonight's a good night to get pregnant. It's the Breakfast Club, the world's most dangerous morning show. Yep, it's the world's most dangerous morning show, The Breakfast Club. I'll be in the gym on the damn Stairmaster looking like a fool. Dancing to Ray Shermer? Trying to do the whip dance to damn Ray Shermer. You know how ridiculous I look throwing punches on the damn Stairmaster? People looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, I can tell they want to go to the front desk and report me. Hey, not John Travolta. If he saw you in the gym, he'd be on that. And he's like, oh, I like him aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's front page news. Now, uh, if you saw the Pro Bowl last night, Team Urban beat Team Carter 32-28. to 28. I think they need to cancel the Pro Bowl. I think the Pro Bowl is too high risk to have all those players out there just out there doing it for recreation for one game. I think it's whack. Uh, the NBA, Hawks beat the Wolves 112-100. to 100. He beat the Bulls 96-84. to 84. Cavs beat the Thunder 108-98. to 98. Clippers beat the Suns 120-100. to 100. Pelicans beat the Mavs 109-106. Pacers beat the Magic 106-99. to 99. Spurs beat the Bucks 101 -99. 95. Raptors beat the Pistons 114 to 110. Warriors beat the Celtics 114 to 111, and the Wizards beat the Nuggets 117 to 115. Now, a historic blizzard is about to hit the North East. Ye. Yes, they are using words like life-threatening to describe this storm. As we told you before, there are more than 3,200 flights that were canceled. So carriers are waiving any type of change fees for all of those flights that are canceled. And they're saying, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all of that is going to be pretty bad. So if you're planning to travel anywhere in the Northeast, just be careful. They are saying that the storm will come in waves. New York, Boston, and Philly will see light snow today, this morning, and it will be heavier in the afternoon. There's going to be really heavy snow starting Monday night, continuing through Tuesday. Some areas are still going to be getting snow on Wednesday. So just be prepared for all of that. It's the first big storm of the year. And they're saying up to three feet are possible. Yes, yeah, so and you got to treat the next couple of days like cheat days. I mean, you know, you, you're going to have to eat out. So there's no need to sit around and try to watch what you eat. Just eat your fast food and um, get your snacks. Get your little Debbie snack cakes. Get your liquor. Get well, the no matter what, the Breakfast Club will be here because they made sure. Yep. 
we are staying in a hotel and for the next couple of days. And that is why it's a great time. And I'm not encouraging this. I'm just saying it's a good time to cheat on your wife. Because, what? Because nine times you out just of ten. Hasn't even been a year since I'm you got married. I'm not talking about me. I am not have. I don't have plans to do these You lead by things. example. So what were you saying? I'm just saying that it's a good time because a lot of people have to stay in the city because of work. Their families are at home. It's a good time to cheat. It's a terrible time to cheat because you might get stuck with somebody. Yeah, but you still got to get up to go to work and in the a morning. snowstorm. No, not if you can't go anywhere because of the storm. You don't bring them to your house if you're stuck. If you're stuck, you might get in the stuck city, in her house. If you're stuck in the city and you have to stay at a hotel tonight, tonight is a good night to cheat. It's never a good time to cheat. That's and that is saying. your front page news. Yes, and we got to tell them why you're mad coming up next. Okay, one eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. If you're pissed off for whatever reason, maybe you don't like snow and you can't stand this three feet that's about to hit the northeast. Hey, that is a good reason to be upset. Maybe one of your flights got canceled. You're one of the three thousand people who flight got canceled. I don't know. Call it's and tell us. Not three thousand people. How much people is it? Is it <laughs> Over 3,200 flights canceled. So it's more, it'd be more people then. <laughs> right? You both the There's more than one person on each flight. Yeah, so it's like, it's a lot of people whose flights got canceled. <laughs> yes, it's a lot. Woo! I don't know nothing about math. It's the Breakfast Club. Yeah. Hey, yo, this is DMX. And you know what makes me mad? <laughs> Ask for the truth, but can't handle the truth. Right? Now tell them why you mad on the Breakfast Club. Bitches! <laughs> Victoria, how you doing? Tell us why you're mad. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm heated. I'm okay. heated in town because the snowstorm is coming in on my birthday. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> now, that's a memorable day. No, it happens every other year. You ain't got no boo that you can get trapped with? <laughs> no traveling. That's but, whack. It sounds like you need to have a little slumber party. No, I don't have friends. Man. No. Well, what, so are you going to be by yourself on your birthday? It's tomorrow, so fortunately, hell yes. Yeah, well, this is hell. Well, listen, if you don't have no friends, your birthday was going to suck anyway. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand I the problem. You don't have, have no family to... members and nobody that can come hang out with you? Yeah, you family. I, I don't know. They don't even on a snowstorm. That's what black people do. Well, oh, my gosh. I don't know what to tell you, boo, other than that you're a loser. And, um, don't I tell pray. that. I actually know Victoria. She's not a loser. And She's I, over-exaggerating. And I pray for you. And um, I hope, I hope I don't know, go on Craigslist and find a man or something. This would be a good time to have a little sleepover, okay? Oh, I know what you should do. No, tweet out, tweet out, I'm so lonely. (laughs) And put mad O's in so. And get your Netflix popping tonight. Good time to catch up on some movies. All right, have a good day, guys. You too, Victoria. Happy birthday. Good morning, who's this? Suquana from Hoboken. Good morning, Suquana. Tell us why you mad. Suquana? I'm mad because, yeah, (laughs) Suquana. Why your parents did that to you, girl? (laughs) <laughs> I'm mad because I have to come back at midnight, back to work, and going to be trapped a little ass guard check booth in three feet of snow. Why are you going to work? Because I have no other choice. Where Gotta you work at? Where you work I at, I can't tell you all that. Every, no. I think everything's kind of shut down early today, though. Well, I'm at a trucking company. They never shut down. Well, I bet you wherever you work, your name tag looks mad complicated with a name like Sh- Sasquatch. <laughs> what? Yeah, how did, how, did you get, how did you get the name Sequana? Fuquana oh, and my Fuquana. father Amy. Oh, Fuquana. Yes. I thought you said Suquana. I thought I thought no. your daddy was a blood. And so he started off <laughs> Su- and he just added the Quana to it. You got jokes early in the morning. All right, well good luck. Make sure you got your food and everything together. I will. Oh, she right. sounds like yeah, she got yeah. food. Fuquana oh. sound. Big girl Fuquana got some food. All right, well tell us why you're mad. 800-585-1051. We are taking your calls. Where's DJ Envy? Uh, Envy's in Arizona. Envy just put a Envy put a picture up last night standing close to Odell Beckham Jr. That picture looked like Odell got his best catch ever. I see like, Odell Beckham and a lot of stories about him hooking up with random chicks. Well, it looked like him and Envy about to hook up randomly too. If you okay. look at this picture, good catch, Envy. <laughs> good catch, Odell. <laughs> That's the Breakfast Club. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, good morning. This is the Mad Rap. I'ma tell you why, man. I'ma tell you why, man. I'm mad because I hung out in the club last night and there was too many good girls in there. Yo, for real, we don't need none of y'all good girls in the club. We need loose girls, we need drug girls, we need sloppy girls. We need girls that's just gonna go all the way. We don't need none of y'all nice girls in there. Go home. Go away. Talk about it. And tell me why you mad. Breakfast Club, for real. Satia, tell us why you mad. I'm mad because the amount of people that get A's in this world for a test, what they can't they don't know how to control the weather. You know what I mean? They don't know how to control the, the weather. People, Wait, yeah, you want, the you want people, people that have A's to control the weather? The amount of people that have gotten A's on tests before, they don't know how to control the weather by now. Storm you know, storm, and harp are the only people that can control the weather, okay? People with HIV AIDS do not know how to control the weather. No I human does. I didn't say does. AIDS. I said A's. 
AIDS. AIDS. Like an apple, yeah. Oh, AIDS. I thought she oh. said AIDS also. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? No, I meant AIDS as an apple. Well, are you a straight A student? A C student. But still, that still don't make no sense. Why would people that have straight A's know how to control the weather? Yeah, because, you know, we're living in a new age, and I think that, you know, smart people should already know, which I know that they already know. You know what I mean? They should just come out with it. Well, that that shows you one thing. No matter how smart a person is, they're not God. Only God can control the weather, boo. And maybe heart. So they say. I think we should stop trying to control everything. Sometimes you got to just roll with what's going on. Yeah, but that's been going on in the world for forever and you know you can't change that i understand that but i'm gonna tell you a secret i know how to control the weather like oh like i got three feet of snow dropping tomorrow starting the day it's like the ground can shake when with no one else knowing you know that happened to me before but that's a whole nother story well you have a great day and you yeah. be careful yeah. out there okay great day. let's put a button okay. on this one Put a period at the end of this sentence, please. Have a nice morning. You God too. Have a great you, morning. Baby. Right. Jesus Christ. Mike, good morning. Tell What's us why up? you mad. Mad at my boss, man. He's trying to tell us we got to come in today for a full day. We have to work. And they're talking about three feet of snow. Listen, we got to work. And not only do we have to work today, but we got to work about the snowstorm tomorrow, Wednesday. We actually have to stay in a hotel so we don't miss work. Yeah, but I'm an hour and a half away from work. Well, get that money. Oh, you can just stay in a hotel tonight, man, and get your little side chick to come over. Let's take a yeah, yeah, true, true. Hey. yeah, man. Take, listen, we got to make the most out of a bad situation, man. If you got to be away from your family, cheat on your wife. Tonight. Yeah, you go ahead and get stuck with your side chick if you want. All right. There's nowhere to run. All have right. Have a good time. Right. Slow days are cheat days for adults. Eat what you want. No, it's Sweet not. Don't you say want. that. That's not true. <laughs> it's a great time to be uh, snowed in with your boo. I agree with that. But if you do have to stay in the city for work, hey, man. Anyway. Remember what I said. Let's get ready for rumor report. How about that? What we got? What we got? Well, let's talk about lawsuits as far as Little Wayne, Tiger. All of them have some lawsuits pending. Also, new music. Rihanna, she put out something new over the weekend and everybody went crazy. So we got a little snippet for you. All right. All that and more on the World's Most Dangerous Morning Show, The Breakfast Club. Yeah, the World's Most Dangerous Morning Show, The Breakfast Club. I'm going to adjust my damn headphones here so I can hear myself. All right. Charlamagne the God, Angela Yee. DJ Envy is uh, stuck somewhere, right? Arizona. Arizona. Buddha. Okay. He was. <laughs> it definitely looked like Envy and Odell Beckham Jr. of the Giants were booed up together in the club. Okay. <laughs> Odell caught something last night. <laughs> it looked like he caught. I hope our, he didn't catch anything. It looked like he caught our very own DJ Envy. <laughs> now the rumor report. We were talking some Rihanna, right? Mm-hmm. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. Guys. The rumor report. Guys. Guys. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. So Saturday night, a new Rihanna track dropped, and it's available on RihannaNow.com. The song is called Four or Five Seconds, featuring Kanye West and Paul McCartney. Check it out. I think I've had enough. I might get a little drunk. I say what's on my mind. I might do a little time. Now I'm All tough right. tune, tough tune. I, I dig Rihanna because she does what she wants musically. You can't even define it. It's not pop, it's not urban, it's not country. She just makes music, and you're like, oh, that's new Rihanna. You don't even care what the genre is. Now, after this song came out, there are new details about Kanye's upcoming album. That's going to be his seventh album. Now, at first, his friend and barber said on Twitter, Kanye's whole new album is co-produced with Paul McCartney. He decided to put Rihanna on a song and put it on both of their albums because they are both rock nation. Well, it turns out, according to Paul McCartney and Kanye's reps, that's not true. They said Paul McCartney did not co-produce Kanye's entire album. I mean, you got to be of a certain demo to get excited that Paul McCartney is going to be executive producing Kanye's album anyway. These kids don't even know the hell. But apparently they just had a brainstorming session together, did a lot of music together, and that's what they decided to put out. These kids don't even know Paul Wall. You think they know Paul McCartney? All right, now let's talk about Empire. Lee Daniels put up a picture of him and Denzel Washington with the caption, trying to talk this one into doing a guest star on Empire. Next week, dinner on me. So maybe Denzel is going to do a guest spot on Empire. Now, there's been a whole lot of people guesting on the show. What the hell is Denzel going to do on Empire? I don't know. All those people on that show are beneath Denzel. 
Cuba Gooding Jr., Lenny Kravitz, Mariah Carey, Snoop, Naomi Campbell, Raven Simone, Macy Gray, Courtney Love, Foxy Brown. They said even Patti LaBelle is going to be on the show. Patti, no! <laughs> all those people are beneath Patty and Denzel. First okay? of all, Taraji is a great actress. I love Terrence Taraji. Howard is a great actor. Beneath as well. Denzel, Terrence is. This is a get, listen. This is a huge show for Fox. Highest ratings. It's I think it's great. Show some support for Lee Daniels. Hey man, I watch the show. I watch it every week. I think it's good garbage. I think it's the most terrible, great show on TV right now. All right, now let's talk about Tiger. He's being sued by his former management team. They say they are owed millions for breach of contract. They said they took Tiger from an unknown talent to a superstar, and they want to be compensated for oh, that. So they want $4 million. Superstar is a scratch. Star, yes. Superstar is a scratch. All right. And in other lawsuit news, Lil Wayne is suing Birdman. We have the amount of money that he's suing for. He wants $8 million from Birdman. Birdman should just give that up. Hey, no, Birdman got a new girl to take care of. Okay. What? <laughs> he, got, he got Keisha Cole. He got his bait, uh young thug. He ain't got time to be paying no Lil Wayne. All right. Well, that's all. I thought it was going to be way more money than that. I was hearing bigger numbers. I was hearing $40 million, but it turns out he's asking for $8 million, and he wants to be free. He Listen. wants to be off. There's also a rumor that Lil Wayne and T.I. are teaming up and forming a label together. Listen, young thug out here rolling blunts as big as penises, okay? You know how much weed you have to have to roll a blunt as big as a penis, Okay. You need that money. Well, it depends on how big your penis is now. <laughs> you, Charlamagne. <laughs> you probably just need a little paper. All right, and that is your... About some backwards. About a backwards. Gram. I'm a gram. And I'm that is your rumor gram. report. I'm Angela Yee. Yes. Your little backward penis. I don't know what we're doing next. I don't do this. What are we doing? Front page news is up next. Oh, front page news is up next. And yeah, uh, the decision. It's yeah, because it's Monday, Monday right? so we got to help some people. All right. It's the Breakfast Club. Yes, the world's most dangerous morning show, the Breakfast Club. Charlamagne the God, Angela Yee here. Let's get into some front page news. Uh, in the NFL, Team Urban beat Team Carter 32 to 28 in the Pro Bowl. I think the Pro Bowl is a waste of time. I think football is too much of a high risk sport for them to be uh, just getting together to play a little recreational game of football. Uh, in the NBA, the Hawks beat the Wolves 112 to 100. Heat beat the Bulls 96 to 84. Cavs beat the Thunder 108 to 98. Cavs on a six game winning streak out here in these streets. Clippers beat the Suns 120 to 100. Pelicans beat the Mavs 109. 106. Pacers beat the Magic 106-99. Spurs beat the Bucks 101-95. Raptors beat the Pistons 114-110. Warriors beat the Celtics 114-111. And the Washington Wizards beat the Nuggets 117-115. Now, a historic blizzard is about to hit the Northeast. Yes, and they are using terms like life-threatening and historic to talk about this storm taking aim at the Northeast. It's the first big storm of the year, up to three feet of snow. That's going to be Boston, New York, Philly, all of that. They said the blizzard and winter storm warnings have been issued from Maryland all the way through Maine and into Canada. Up to 58 million people could be put into a deep freeze. So they're saying this is going to be a huge deal. If you got an airline ticket to travel, your flight might be already canceled. There have been over 3,200 flights canceled so far. So yeah. that affects a lot of people. Yeah, I was in the grocery store yesterday uh, racking up on snacks, getting all my little Debbie cakes and stuff like that. And uh, this, this white guy screams out, hey, big storm tomorrow. We're all going to die. Mm -mm -mm. Like, could you be a little more optimistic, bro? But, you know, do be careful. If you don't have to travel and you're affected by the storm directly, please just stay in. Now, Make given... sure you have food. Make sure you have other lighting in case the lights go out. We don't know what's going to happen. They've given this storm a name, I think. I think it's called Juno. J-U-N-O. Okay. Like the movie? Yeah, it was the little girl. That was the little girl who got pregnant and wanted to get a baby up for adoption. Yep. Doesn't sound very threatening to me. Okay. That was a very sweet girl. She well, we're just going to keep you updated all throughout the morning on what's going on. But yes, this is going to be possibly one of the biggest storms. I don't know, bro, bro. What? I just don't be knowing, man. They, they are, every time they call it to say it's so big, it don't be as big as they uh, they make it out to be. That's why you like to downplay yours. Yes, I like to undersell and overdeliver. <laughs> we're talking about my penis size right now, ladies and gentlemen. I never will talk up my penis size and say it's going to be three feet. Or How many like inches that. are coming? No, 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 none of that. It's going to be the biggest you ever had. No, no, no. And then it comes to you like that was it. Undersell. That was a flurry. Exactly. That's how. That's what they do with these snowstorms a lot of the time. But you got to be better safe than sorry, right? Okay. All right. Now, what we got coming up next? I don't know this. <laughs> the decision. The decision is coming up. We do up this next. every Monday yes. for the past. Absolutely. Four years. And this is where uh, we fake like we want to help somebody, but we really bring them in here and exploit their problems for our own ratings benefit. Okay. Yes. Let's do it.
It's the Breakfast Club. Yes, so it's Monday. You know, it's about that time when I really try to help people out in Charlemagne and really tries to mess up their lives. I'm just here to ruin it for you, bro. All right, so this is the decision. Now, today we have Manny. What's up, Manny? Hey, how are you? Why are you sound so nervous? <laughs> I haven't talked to my boyfriend in a while, so it's okay. kind of been a long time. So oh, really... you gay? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so tell cool. us what's going on and what's the problem. Um, well, like I said, I haven't talked to my boyfriend about three weeks. So well, then that's not your boyfriend anymore. You know that. Oh, unless he's in jail. No, no, it's just he has he's cheating on it. you. N- no, yeah, I, I, I know that already. You know, I do. So okay. have you tried to call him? Or I do. Him? I call him, and every he's time. not responding. He's not picking up he's his not phone. Not interested, Manny. Your mouth game just ain't what he's, it used to be, bro. No, no, that's not the situation. That's yes, not what's is. going on. He doesn't pick up his phone. You know, we he's we got a are nice, so new, good with bottom. each other. He. What? It's over, Manny. <laughs> Charlamagne, no. would you let Manny talk? Okay, okay. All right, go so ahead. go ahead, Manny. What's the problem? He's not answering the phone. What did you do? Did y'all get into a fight? Did you cheat on him? No, I didn't cheat on him. I, I love him a lot. You know, he's he's so great. We have such a good time every time. It's just that... That's what his new he, boyfriend thinks about him. He's great. Well, why he would doesn't he... have another boyfriend. Yeah, well, no, Manny, we don't, we don't know what's going on, but you yeah. said he hasn't answered your calls or text messages in three weeks. So why is that? The thing is that people just don't know that he's the way that he is, you know? Like, All right, so he's not out of the closet. Exactly. And so you going to come on the radio and just tell everybody his secret? Well, that's why he ain't with you. Well, you no, the much, thing man. is that, like, you know, he promised me that he would leave his wife, his girlfriend for me. You know, he promised me that. He has a girlfriend? He has, oh, yes. Oh, oh. So you okay, so that's not your penis? boyfriend. Kind of how it started out, but he told me that he loved me and that, you know, as we spent more and more time together, that he just... Really like what we had going on, you know, that I just did all these things. So now you want to drag like, him out of the closet? I want him to be with me. That's Manny, what I want. Nobody... You know, I think he can live how he wants to live. Doesn't have to tell anyone, but I just want him with me, you Why know? Why are you messing this up? You can't just have fries. I'm not messing anything up. How am I messing it up? Fries. If he loves me and I love him, what's no the whole situation? No fry guy. You're the fries. He needs his steak. You know. He came after me the entire time. You know, it wasn't me who was Okay, so he him. pursued you. Yes. But he had a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that till later on. Okay, so then he told you. So how did you feel about that? Doesn't that make you feel like, okay, how can I trust this guy who's pursuing me well, but has I, a girlfriend? I, so he's down low. He said, yes, but he promised me that he was going to leave her for uh, me. And you fell for that? Listen, Manny, I think you this happens all the time. Forward, you know, you, you don't, I, like, everything that we did, the things that he would tell me, like, little things that he would whisper in my ear and everything that we did. What would he whisper you know, he to you, Manny? How much he loved me. Just everything. When you go to a restaurant, they ask you what you want. Then they say, what would be your side? You're the side. No. Oh, I mean, yes, he's woman. upset. Okay. Manny's <laughs> upset already. So listen, Manny. So what do you want to do? What do you want us to do this morning? I want him to do what he said he was going to do. Okay. I want him to leave his girlfriend and come to me. All right. Well, he's here. You so we're going to hold on. He's here. We're going to bring him on and we're going to see what happens when you confront him. But. You, know, you do know it is a difficult situation when somebody is not out of the closet and they haven't come to terms with their sexuality. And you blow him up live on no, The Breakfast no, Club. No, I, just, I think he just needs to do what he show. promised that he would do, you know? I think he's much happier with me the entire time. You know, he tells me every single time how he hates his girlfriend and she's always nagging at him he's and just telling him all this crap. Today. But you're now you're nagging. change his life. You know millions of people listen to this show? You know, and definitely now that he found out that she's pregnant, he's a total mess. You know, he doesn't want to have a baby with that skank. Oh, so well, he keeps trying to get you pregnant, but it so, doesn't work. Man. So wait a second. So he says that he doesn't like her. He doesn't love her. He doesn't want to be, be with her. He's going to leave her, but he's having a baby with her. And he's not answering your calls for the past three weeks. I just think now, Manny, it's I hate hard to, for him to do this. I Manny, just, you know you can't force somebody to be with you who doesn't want to be with you. But he does. All right, you know what? He's here. Let's hear what he I has to say. I stand side people like you. You're the one that make it bad for hey, all the good no, side pieces. Hey, of that's what he promised me, all right? He promised that he would be with me, and that's all that I want. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You're okay, so Manny, piece. now let's be careful because he doesn't know you're here. We told him he came up because he's competing for a prize. So just play it cool. You need all right? to respect and your control jaw, your man. emotions a little bit because you're getting really upset. You need to respect your jaw, Manny, for real. You're not respecting okay, this your is jaw a, right this now. is definitely a sensitive situation, so I want to respect that. Word so, the money and violence. We're going to bring him in. All right, what's up? It's the Breakfast Club, and we have a very special guest, as DJ Envy would say if he were here. My guy, Jared. What's up? That's your guy, too? Shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Jared, um, I know I told you you were here to win, uh, to compete for a prize. Yeah. yeah Jared, I'm leave ready. now. Run. I'm telling you. Now, let Come me on, ask you something. I know that you are in a relationship. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're having a baby. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Yeah. Have you ever cheated on your girlfriend? Uh, no. So there's nobody out here in this world that would say they had any type of relationship with Jared, you. I told you. No, that. absolutely not, man. 
All right, well, we have somebody here who wants to actually confront you Jared, before you win this prize. <laughs> God knows my heart. God knows I tried to no, do no, the no, right no. thing. And I'm going to just need here? you to just relax, okay? Because we're going to get to the bottom of some things and some issues that no, you there's something to get to the bottom of. Oh, it's something to get to the bottom of, sir. What gym do you go to? And we want to know who is the bottom. Manny. Oh, Hell no, 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 no. This ain't uh, happening. No, why I'm haven't sorry, you returned no, my calls? You no. told me that Manny, you were going to call no. me. What are you right? doing? You're not what are you returning doing? any of my calls. What are you doing? You promised me. All right, Jared, Jared, Jared. I told you to leave. Jared, sit down. Manny, Manny, Manny. You were going to leave her. Manny, chill out. Huh? Huh? You told me that. That's what you promised me the last time that we spoke. I got nothing to say to you. You're with me on the couch, huh? I got nothing to say to you. I got nothing to say to this guy. No, this guy. How about you keep to what you promised me? This guy is absolutely no. This guy is crazy. He's been stalking me for like the last three months. All right? He's been stalking me. Me. I met this guy at the gym, right? Okay. Right? Met this guy at the gym. Okay. We were working out. You know, he came he over. He thought he was cute. I, came no, over. I don't think he was cute. Manny, Manny let Jared no, speak. Let Jared speak. Let me talk. You let me talk. Let, Jared, let me talk. You no, you let Manny, me talk. Manny, Let me talk. One second. All right? Okay. No, no. He came over to me. We're, we're, he's spotting. We've been working out a yeah. little bit. But then he starts, you know, kind of showing up every time I'm at the gym. He's he's there every well, time I want to go work. You You're know that's true, man. Manny, Manny calm you down. You've lost your mind. You've you lost even your even mind. Told. I don't know what okay. you're doing. Manny, you are the bottom in this relationship. You hush and speak. There's no relationship. Jared, so you guys exchange information. Like, he has your number, right? No, I mean, yeah, because, you know, we were working out for a little while, but then he started, like, just constantly being there. I'm, like, taking a shower. He's there I, I, all the time, you know? Tell him who came to work in the shower. Nothing happened in the shower. Nothing happened. Who snuck up behind me, right? Man, I don't, I who snuck this. up you behind me? Right? You took it, Jared. No, I'm out of here. You know what? Jared, please, just stay for a second. I want it. Manny, Manny, we don't want Jared to leave. Just calm down. Jared, have a seat, because if he is stalking you, we're going to take care of this right now, but we just want to get to the bottom. Of it. Jared, we, yes. You're, as Angelie said, we're getting to the bottom of it. We're <laughs> going to get to the bottom of your bottom, okay? Okay, so there you go, no, Jared. Charlamagne, no more jokes. So, Manny, I just need you to chill out for a second. Let Jared talk because we're going right. to find out what's going on. So, you Manny. say that Manny's been stalking you and um, he says that you guys had a relationship. Now, you think he's just crazy and making this up in line? Yeah, I mean, this, this, there's nothing going on here. This guy is just absolutely insane. He's been stalking me for months. And, you know, I, I had to stop going to my gym. Mm -hmm. I had to stop going. I had to go to another gym, get stop out of there. Stop going? And what did you do instead, huh? Huh? Right, stop coming to my house, huh? That's what you started doing, right? I've never been to your house. Oh, yeah, what? you, you are, did. You never you came to my house? You lost your mind, man. You never Manny, do you have any proof of any of this? power top, Jared. Do you have any proof of any of this? Of man. Everything. There's no power you know, top. There's no relationship here. Oh, it's the relationship. Bro, there's no relationship here. This is ridiculous, all right? Now, this this is just a guy who's, like, gone, like, what the hell was that movie? That that matter of fact, you want to see a that? Oh, man. Well, what? Huh? well, I don't what know what his, I don't know what his <laughs> sending me over no. I don't know what his penis looks like. I have like at least ten that you've sent to. Let me see what the plug looks like, man. Like, like, club at the gym oh, or yeah. something. Suck a little pick for you. No, no, yeah? you sent yeah? them to me. With no, no, I didn't send you anything, man. A monster mind. Promising me that you're gonna leave the girlfriend. Let me see the pictures. Show Angela you the plug. Let me see the pictures. What is that? Huh? Okay, what is that's that? not bad, man. Now, Jared, pull not yours bad? out so we huh? can compare the two. Hell no, man. Right. What's wrong show, with show them in your penis show, so we can see. If it's not yours, why don't you do it, huh? <laughs> no. No? No? Nope. Huh? You're no, lying, huh? You're Just lying. Just like you lied Jared, to you're me, lying. right? I don't know you're what you're a liar. Trying to do that's this what you me. are right now. Why are you trying to you destroy my life like this, bro? You were gonna leave your girlfriend, and now you ain't doing that. So, Jared, 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 I'm not going anywhere. Jared, so let's be clear. Jared, you're saying you've never ever had sex with Manny? No. No. Men lie, women lie, tops lie, bottoms don't. I don't know who to believe. <laughs> he has no reason to lie about getting penetrated. Oh, I don't know if I'm he's with a, Manny. I don't, I don't know Jared, what his don't. problem is. Oh, yeah? I don't so you're know also what's gonna going to tell on, me that no, you don't really I'm like not. my finger up your Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. That changed all that. I don't even like that. Huh? Whoa. Huh? All right, <laughs> What buddy. about all that, huh? Okay. <laughs> Huh? Are you gonna lie about all that again? Is that it's what you're saying? Wait, what's happening? Lie, okay, oh, you know what, guys, guys. That's what I want. I just want to back. All right, you know what, we're gonna... all that I want. Manny, we're gonna clear this up right now because actually, they just told me we have somebody on the line that wants to talk right now. Uh, does the name Shemaya mean anything to you? Jared? <laughs> See? Yeah, yeah. That's all right, his Jared? Shemaya. Good. So, Hello? Sh Shemaya, is there anything weird going on with, uh... I need to know that, I need to know that. Is that Jared? Right now. That yes. is your Jared. Yeah. Oh Jared, my I God! Told you to leave, dog. Are you telling me that he's gay right now? Uh, baby, I'm oh not gay. Yeah, yes. Yeah, oh my God! Oh my God! Is there yeah, any I'm indication to you ever that that Jared's gay? No. You think I would have been with him if I would have known he was gay? Well, we don't know no, that I'm this is true. Gay. He's denying I'm it. I'm not. He was saying. He said you loved him. 
Well, what? we don't know that it's true because he's Jared's I didn't say nothing. I'm you're, you're in love with I've this guy? I met this guy at the gym, Are you baby. That's sex it. With another man? He's been stalking me. Are you having sex with another man? I am man? not have Are you having, having sex, sex with, with me? No, shut Shemaya, up. Jemaya, does Jared ever ask you to do anything like in his butt she or definitely, anything? I definitely told you to shut, shut up. Lost his mind. I don't believe. Baby, no. Are you gay? Yes. No. No. Then why yes. is this man on the radio saying I have no idea. He's obsessed with no me. Idea. I was kind to him so at the gym. No All of a sudden, he's been coming up to You're me. The one he who keeps came following me. Baby, you, you know that I stopped going to that gym. You know that I stopped going to that gym. Huh? For eight months. Because of this guy. All right, well. Jared. Eight months. You've been having sex with him and having sex with me without a condom. Yes. Unprotected. And I'm pregnant. Jerry. Baby, I have not been having sex with him, all right? Okay. I mean, the person I've been having sex with is you. You're lying. Maybe, There's no reason. Maybe, There's no listen, reason Shemaya, for Shemaya, 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 listen. Shemaya. Maybe Jared, Shemaya. Oh, my God. Maybe Jared oh, just God. stopped the Subway diet for one second to do his crickly turkey sausage diet. <sighs> we don't know. Hold on. We're going to step out of this. Y'all will talk to each other off the air. And, you know, I don't know what to say because... Jared's done for you. No. Out baby, in the street. No, don't just, even can, you, can we just listen? We'll talk when no I get home. Baby, about, we're gonna talk when I get home. All right. All right. Baby, we, uh, she is pregnant, so let's just chill out, and uh, we're gonna step out of this, and we'll let them talk. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Manny and Jared. Maybe y'all will end up together. Yeah. I doubt it. The Breakfast Club. Whip it. Whip it. Whip it. I don't know what Charlemagne is doing right now. <laughs> Neither do I. One Maybe we do need MB rumor. here. Um, what are we doing? Oh, rumor report. Yes, rumor report is coming, and you talk about Kanye West. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela and Lee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, congratulations to Kanye West. He was honored at the BET Honors. He got the Visionary Award at a ceremony over the weekend. He was introduced with a speech by his former associate, Damon Dash. I'm sure they cleared that with Kanye before they... Well, actually, I think Kanye had to ask him to do it. Is, oh. Is how it went down. Now, Damon Dash, from what I heard, gave a speech where he did say, you know, that Kanye and him still have some issues. They're emotional issues. His history with Kanye is, I didn't respect him as a rapper because I was around the greatest rappers, but he has courage. Now, Kanye gave a speech as well where he addressed Damon Dash indirectly. He said, I understand how it feels to be humbled. This whole award ceremony will air on BET on February 29th. In the meantime, people were talking about this clip that circulated with uh, Kanye West referring to his wife, Kim Kardashian, who was there as well. I see that, you know, and a white girl don't go get a rich black dude, you know. But I want to say that my wife has dated broke black dudes. <laughs> Yeah, just so you know, not everybody. I don't get it, but um, I listen. think he was trying to take digs at some of her former flames. I'm trying to figure out why Dame Dash walking around here with a missing tooth, though. Yeah, that picture of him missing a tooth was a little odd. I don't get it. But uh, and just speaking of Kanye West, uh, and Kanye need to cut Dame a check too. Forget uh, how having me introduce you at the damn BET Hip Hop Honor Awards, whatever it was. Cut All me right. a check. All right. Well, let's talk about Kanye and Kim Kardashian. They were in the airport. In D.C., when he arrived there on Sunday, one of the fans wanted him to sign a picture of his bride on their wedding day. The only problem was the picture that he presented him with was not on his wedding day. It was a different wedding. It was the wedding she had to Chris Humphreys. <laughs> That's what you get when you marry somebody who's been married multiple times before you. Now, he did take it all in stride, though. He, he smiled and laughed about the whole situation. So you, you can't be mad at the guy for that. The guy probably Googled Kim K. Wedding and... Those two popped up. <laughs> Those other two popped up. I mean, come on. Him, her and Chris Humphrey's marriage was very forgettable. How long did it last? 32 days? It wasn't 32 days. 62. <laughs> Not going to more than 72, I refuse. Yeah, it was 70-something days. Okay. Though. All right, now let's get into Maya. She had a performance over the weekend. Who's Maya? Maya the singer. Maya the singer. Oh, stop She's it. from Atlanta, ain't he? No, she's from Newark. Who's Maya? <sighs> come on, describe. Give me some context. Who's Maya? She's saying, my love is like, whoa. You know, know Maya, like, stop whoa. it. I don't know what you're talking about. With Cisco. Oh, the little cute She had a song with Jay-Z. Anyway, she was performing at Miami's G5 Strip Club. And there was some video footage that went around and some pictures of her performing. And people were trying to go oh, in on her, her oh, saying yeah, that she bad. was a stripper. But she wasn't stripping. She really was performing. Yeah, right. She was a dancer, you know, by trade. Not that type of dancer. When the last time Maya been out? Well, she has a new song that she's trying to promote. 
<laughs> Maya was great. Round of applause to Maya. You got to use what you got to get what you want, okay? If you want a little bread out here in these streets and you're still kind of pretty, I don't see nothing wrong with the scripting thing. It's either that or reality TV, and she's not popular enough to be on reality TV right now. Uh, no, she could definitely be on reality she TV. She could. All these nothing assholes on TV. You yeah, right. definitely right. not a problem. So, And, um, you know, she posted some pictures on Instagram, and she responded to some people. Somebody asked her, are you a stripper? She said, I am a what whatever I choose to be when I choose to be it. The joy of life. Live it. And some people were criticizing the fact that, well, she performed in a strip club. So what? Other artists do it all the time, and nobody says anything. First of all, what else is she supposed to be doing? All right, all right. No, I, when the last time Maya had a record? She has a record right now. That's why she's out promoting it. All right, man. All right, Amber Rose. I, I hear crickets. She had put up a picture on Instagram with her and Nick Cannon having matching Ferraris. She said, you guys like me and Nick Cannon's matching Ferraris, his and hers, incredible. Well, she got a lot of feedback and people were trying to say they were dating. She did put hashtag his and hers, which normally means I'm the Mr. He's, you know, I'm the Mrs. He's the Mr., right? Well, she said, shout out to my amazing manager, Nick Cannon. I know the world wants us to be together so badly, sarcasm, but it's just not our relationship. Every time I post a pic of me and this man, y'all start reaching. We are friends and business partners, nothing more. We have beautiful children and people will still, we still love very much no matter what. I don't know how many times I need to say this, but this will be my last time. We are just friends. Okay, F words. I usually don't even comment on dumb made up stories, but you're going to see a lot of us together because we're getting this money. Listen, Nick, I respect what you're trying to do with Amber Rose, but what you need to do is extend some of those blessings to those who need it, like Maya. Okay? Amber Rose is going to be fine. Anyway, that is your rumor report. And you know what? If you don't want people to think y'all are dating, don't put his and hers. Just say, you know, I got a Ferrari. My manager, Nick Cannon, got a Ferrari. Stunting. Something like that. Yeah, I agree. And that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. Yes. You're not going to set me up for Donkey Throat Alley, Yee. Shh. Okay. Calm down, Charlemagne. Now, Charlemagne. Hey, Yee, yes. We got that. Who are you giving that donkey to today? Four after the hour donkey today is going to a young lady named Yasmin Ellaby. I think she's from Houston. I just. Oh, need, I saw this story. Yasmin, you need to come to the front of the congregation by yourself. Because that's <laughs> the way you like to live your life. We need to have a word with you, okay? All right. Next up. Yes. Donkey of the day. I was born a donkey. It's the donkey of the day. That's pretty fun. Charlemagne the devil. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yes, donkey of the day for Monday, January 26th goes to Yasmin Ellaby. Uh, I think she's from Houston, Texas. Salute to everybody who listens to us on 93.7 to beat in Houston. Hawk, what up? Now, uh, I think I saw this towards the end of last week, but I ignored it because honestly, it looked <laughs> and sounded like such BS that I was like, no way this is real. Uh, impossible. But lo and behold, it seems to be true. Uh, this young lady, Yasmin Ellaby, just turned 40, and she promised herself that if she hadn't found a mate by the time she was 40, she would marry herself. Jeez. Let me repeat that for effect. A young lady named Yasmin Ellaby just turned 40, and she promised herself that if she hadn't found a mate by the time she was 40, she would marry herself. Well, Yasmin Ellaby keeps her promises because that's <laughs> exactly what she went and did, okay? Now, Yasmin can't legally marry herself in America, but she chose to have one of her sisters who was a minister help her say her vows. Her other three sisters were bridesmaids, and her mom gave her away. Gave her away to who? How do you give yourself away to yourself? Wow. When you read vows as a minister, when somebody marries themselves, do you read the vows twice? Like when the minister says, do you, Yasmin Ellaby, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? Does the minister then turn back to Yasmin and say, do you, Yasmin Ellaby, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife again? This is ridiculous. On top of the cake, is it two women or is it a woman looking in a mirror? If Yasmin does have sex with someone, is she cheating on herself? I have so many questions that seem to not be mm -mm -mm. able to be answered. Look, I'll be the first to tell you that your first, last, and best love is self-love. I'm all about that. But, Yasmin, come on, man. Pickens ain't that slim out here, are they? Angela E., are Pickens that slim? Man, I don't. I would hope not. Jesus Christ. I would hope not. Yasmin, you're only 40. 40 is young. Just because you haven't found a husband yet doesn't mean that you have to settle with marrying yourself. I told a friend yesterday, I'll take waiting over settling any day of the week, 
okay? You settling instead of waiting, boo. You're only 40. Trust me, a man is out there for you. You just have to know the difference between what you're getting and what you deserve. And Yasmin, trust me when I tell you that you deserve better than getting married to yourself. Give Yasmin that would be the biggest hee-haw, please. Now, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Okay. Sex in the City. This happened on one episode. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, a.k.a. Carrie Bradshaw, was tired of going to everybody's bridal showers, baby showers, all of that, uh-huh. having to buy gifts for everybody. So she set up a registry for herself so that all her friends that she had to get gifts for before had to get her presents. See, I'm not mad about that. She didn't marry herself. <laughs> exactly. I'm not mad about setting up a registry, a registry and getting gifts. But to actually have a ceremony. That's and weird. Marry That's even yourself? more depressing, probably. Come on, man. Than not being married. Come on. As your friend, when you invite me to this wedding, I will not attend. Okay. Oh, well, then that's really bad. No, well, sorry. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, should we ask the question? Go ahead, Charlemagne. Are there any pros and cons to marrying yourself? I would assume a lot of cons, but pros, that's what we need to figure out. And, and What's la- a good reason to marry yourself? And ladies, I want to know, are the pickings that slim? If the pickings are that slim, I feel like men need to do better. Mm. No, seriously. I feel like if the pickings are that slim for women, <laughs> that women have to marry themselves, men, we got to do better. Yeah. All right, well, you let us know if you would ever marry yourself. If you think there's any good reason that you could find to do something like that, mm, 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 call mm, us mm. up, 800-585-1051. We need to know. And, and if, if if the pickings are that slim, when men um, need to do better, it's either men need to do better or we need to legalize polygamy. One of the two. We'll figure it out before the We're not going to go along with this theme, but okay. <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. <sighs> Very disgusting time we live in, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm disgusted this morning. Why are you disgusted, of all people? If you was listening to Donkey today, I gave it to a young lady named Yasmin Ellaby. I think she's from Houston, Texas. She's 40 years old. She made a promise to herself that if she had not gotten a man and been married by the age of 40, she was going to marry herself. She's taking that Kendrick Lamar, I Love Myself song a little too far. Lord have mercy. This chick went out and married herself, had a full-fledged ceremony and everything. People place too much emphasis on how important it is to be married by a certain time. I mean, listen. You get married when you find the right person. I've I've been thinking about this over the past five minutes, and I said to myself, you know, everybody's looking at the woman like she's crazy, but what does that say about us as men? That the pickings are so slim that a woman has to marry herself. One of my friends, one of my brother's friends told me, it's called settle down because you're settling. Sometimes you just have to settle. Oh, yes. Listen, I, I told y'all during Donkey today, I told a friend yesterday, I'll take waiting over settling any day of the week. I think sometimes we lack patience and we mm-hmm. don't realize that there is something out there for us. So we just settle for whatever. And trust me when I tell you, marrying yourself is settling for whatever. Just wait until you find a man you're looking for. Well, it was a beautiful wedding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's see what you think. Call us up, 800-585-1051. Hello, who's this? Hi, good morning. This is Maureen. Maureen, would you marry yourself? Um, personally, I believe that one should marry a man. However, <laughs> <laughs> um, based on my situation and the way this world is going, I honestly see pros in marrying myself. I mean, I never defy myself. I will always abide by my rules. Financially, I don't have to worry about someone else taking from me, which I've been in that situation. Wow. I don't have to worry about someone taking my things. Leaving but, me do, but you don't have to marry yourself to ensure that. Yeah, it can hey, ensure hey, that. What about penis, though? Well, you know, nowadays, thankfully, there are so many toys and robots, and I am an info, but I can get any size. I can get any. Stop it. it Stop it. As long see, as that, I need it to, see, that's it the problem. No. I need it to. No. Technology has gone too far. You shouldn't have an app for your vagina. Go what get about penis. oral sex? I don't have to worry about STDs. I don't have to worry about any of that no, stuff. D- d- you answer, answer Angela Yee's question. What about oral sex? Well, there's other ways. <laughs> Stop it. I don't even want y'all girls I, thinking like this. I no. personally, to put myself out there, I have done something for a very long time that works very, very What's well What's that? For Tell me. us what that is. And I lay in the bathtub, and I let that thing last for as long as I needed to. I will be there for an hour if I need to. It you will lay in the stop. bathtub with the shower head or something? Yes, ma'am. And if I don't find a shower head that's suitable, <laughs> I tie a bath cloth to it, and it works just as well. You got a big and old poom poom. Okay. Hey, it does everything I needed to. Listen, and it's as hey. matured as I wanted to. It's uh, perfect. Us men got to do better. We got to do better. And it washes itself. <laughs> I mean, personally, I like dates and, you know, I don't know, but okay. 
All right, well. Thank you, boo. I hope things get better. Lord have mercy. Vernon from Staten Island. What do you think are some of the pros and cons of marrying yourself? Uh, I think uh, it's a good thing. Um, I think it's a good idea, actually. Why do you say that? Because um, if I sleep with someone else, I can say, uh, I keep, you know, I, I, I can't feel bad about it because... Uh, yeah, but you're, you're cheating on yourself, sir, if you sleep yeah. with somebody else. There's nothing wrong with that. I, can, I, I don't have no problem with that. Yeah, but if you get married, how you going to put your own penis in your butt? That's like damn near impossible. Nah, nah, not like that. Okay, do you have a girlfriend or a, a potential? No. no. Okay, I'm so you would you would marry so you would marry yourself. Yeah. It's a good okay. idea. Listen, y'all got to stop this, man. I mean, they <laughs> just getting gay marriage legalized in America. It ain't about to be no marriage. Solo marriage. Solo marriage. <laughs> That's not happening. We're not passing that law. I'm with it, man. <laughs> man, bye. 1-800-585-1051. Are there pros and cons of marrying yourself? Ladies, are pickings really that slim? I don't know. We speaking on it. It's The Breakfast Club. Yes, the world's most dangerous morning show, The Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, we're talking about the pros and cons of marrying yourself. We, uh, we were discussing Yasmin Ellaby. I gave her a donkey of the day. She's from Houston, Texas. She married herself. I don't know what to think of this situation. Um... I, well, a lot of people are weighing in on Twitter. Migs has no chill. Said if you marry yourself, you can write yourself off on your taxes. F no. KB said marrying yourself at 40 is solid. She's finally getting all the money back she spent on registries. Shut up. All right. My friend Natina texted me and said... Tina, you better hush because you are the type to marry yourself. She said, I'm not going to your <laughs> damn wedding to yourself. I would think you were insane. Listen, <laughs> uh, at Miss Flower NY is from Houston. She says, no, you don't understand. Dating in Houston is that bad. Wow. She said, dudes be wilding out. Just barely got the number. Do they? And two days later, they sending their penis pics like, damn it, calm your horny ass down. Sounds like she's talking about Slim Thug. I think a lot of ladies do have to <laughs> accept the fact, though, that you will be telling your kids one day... You met your father because, you know, he sent you a penis pic. Wow. It's going it's, it's going to come to that. You would like that. You would find that flattering. What would I find flattering? And somebody said, well, he sent me a penis picture, so I hooked up with him. No, I'm from that a different era. I'm, a, I'm an 80s baby. We don't, I've never sent a penis pic in my life. Now, Natina said she would come to my wedding to myself if I had a photo booth. Because those are really fun. And you can email the pictures yourself. Take pictures with everybody. So. Tina, I'm going to be honest with you. You ain't <laughs> never getting married, Tina. Okay? Shut up. Tina, you're not even going to marry yourself. Yourself, it's a part of you that's smarter than that, okay? <laughs> that knows All not right, to well, marry you, All right, well, let's see what Tina. the people think. Right. 800-585-1051. Call us up. Good morning. Who's this? Amber. Amber, what's your comment? What do you think about marrying yourself? What are the pros and cons? I just really feel like this woman is one of those women who fetishize the idea of a wedding versus being married and having a marriage. But she still took it too far because if she really wanted to have a wedding, she could have found anybody. Word is bomb, man. I, I refuse to believe Pickens are that slim that a 40-year-old healthy woman from Houston who can afford to throw her own wedding, by the way, can't can't get married. Yeah, it's more about the ceremony versus uh, having a marriage. She could have just had a nice party. Right. <laughs> she could have had an I That's love weird. myself party. That's all. She should have. That's weird. And I love myself. She could have had an I love myself party. Everything would have been cool. <laughs> right. Right. She just took it too far. <laughs> all right, baby. All right. Good morning. Who's this? This is Trees. How are you? Good morning. Trees. <laughs> yes. What do you think of some of the pros and cons of, you know, marrying yourself? Would you do it? No, I wouldn't do it. And I do feel like the pickings are very slim. Like, very, very slim. It's ridiculous in Miami. It's a party city. Nobody wants to settle down. Everybody's giving their cookies away. Why buy the milk of the cow is free? Well, I don't listen, know. Listen, if you living in Miami, you ain't never getting married. Oh, don't say that. That's not true. <laughs> no, I'm telling you that right now. You never. Are you from Miami? <laughs> Yes, born and raised. Well, you need you need to you, stuff. you need to move out of that three hundred five if you ever try to be somebody's uh, woman. Okay, I know married people that's in Miami. Not, that's not true. It's ridiculous. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, can I like have some dinner first for, before you try to get my panties? Like, no, uh, I did not come here for this. I at least deserve a wet willy, right? What's your Instagram? It's something. What's your Instagram? I will tell you why you're not married. What's your Instagram? <laughs> Trick or treat. Trick or treat. <laughs> Yes, it's the inside joke. Hold on, you mean like trick a treat like Thanksgiving? No, like, that, like, that would be Halloween. Oh, oh Halloween! Oh yeah. my God, trick or like, treat? Trick or treat? Like T R I G G A T R E S E. Okay. Oh, so you see, see, you one of them girls in Miami that uh, meet the out of towners and get them set up and get robbed. That's what <laughs> no, uh, it's okay. She's private anyway. She's private, so we can't see, see her photos. Charlamagne, stop being a creep. 
<laughs> no, you're kind of cute in the face. Yes, I have very distinctive features. You know, big lips, little chinky eyes. Yeah, you can, I just, I don't know. You'll, don't get, you'll get married one day once you move out of Miami and take trigger out your goddamn Instagram. <laughs> But it's an inside joke. Like, everybody knows I'm very, like, you know, quirky, dorky, but, like, I listen to trap music, too. So they don't expect that from me and go oh. to strip clubs. Who would have thought? I think Gunplay single. Gunplay in Miami. He is not single. Oh, Gunplay not single? No, he's oh. definitely See, uh, it would name like Gunplay? No, I'm, I'm straight. Oh, really, Trigger? Have a nice day. <laughs> Have a nice day. She put it in the atmosphere. Chicks in such a rush to change their relationship status to married on uh, Pinterest and Facebook. It's just disgusting. Um, Pinterest. It's disgusting. Listen, the moral of the story is real women are strong, resilient, independent, loyal, and lovable. But one thing about them is they never settle. And I'll take waiting over settling any day of the week. <laughs> and just so you guys know, I was joking when I said it about Slim Thug. That's my guy. It was a joke. <laughs> Just because he's in Houston when I said he probably is the one sending pictures out. Hey, man, but hey, he's, he's known to do that type of stuff, right? No, he's not. Oh, I don't know. It was a joke. You painted the picture of him this morning. Made me think he's known to do that kind of stuff. I don't know. It was what a joke. Slim, Slim Thug is a funny guy. I thought he would appreciate it. <laughs> this is sad. I don't know, man. Everybody needs to step their games up, bro. You never sent out a penis picture, Charlamagne? I've never even taken a picture of my penis. I'm an 80s baby. We don't do that. I'm going to post the rules again for how you're supposed to take penis pictures and send them out. Never have I. Never will I. I have no reason to. What's the point of that? First of all, I don't, do girls even like that? If it looks good. But if it's not, I don't, then, you know. I, I don't know. I don't know if my penis looks good or not. I haven't looked at other penises. Do you lotion it? Is it ashy? Oh, I definitely lotion my shaft every morning. Okay, and you shave everything down. Listen, how we go from talking about girls getting married to themselves to talking about <laughs> me putting lotion on my penis? What's coming up in Rumor Report, G? Uh, we are going to talk about Rihanna's new song because that was a huge deal over the weekend, and we love that song. So we'll get into that. All right, this is that whack fat guy, fat guy named that, Conan. Oh, stop it. I think it's over for him, too, by the way. Haven't heard a follow-up song. All right, I, I heard one, actually, that's pretty good. It's the Breakfast I'll play Club. For you. I F it with you. That was Big Sean. I don't F with you. I was in Detroit over the weekend. Word. Yeah, I had a good time. I ate at this place called Baker's. It was really good. It's like soul food. That sounds amazing. Listen, I love going to other cities and eating the food. That's my main thing. Whenever we travel, Charlemagne always makes us eat. Listen, I'm going to eat Chick fil A. <laughs> I'm from South Carolina. I like to eat, okay? But if there's a Chick fil A around, I'm definitely going there. All Waffle House. And shout out to my guy, Eric at Motor City, for hooking me up at the hotel. Word. Appreciate it. All right, let's get into rumor report. We are going to talk about Rihanna's new song. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. Guys. The rumor report. Guys. Guys. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. So, new music. Rihanna debuted this new song featuring Kanye West and Paul McCartney. It's available on RihannaNow.com. It's called Four or Five Seconds. Check it out. I think I've had enough. Dope. I, I like that song. I like Rihanna because she don't allow nobody to put her in a box. Right. You know what I'm saying? She just makes music. Don't don't label it. Don't say it's pop. Don't say it's urban. Don't say it's country or whatever. She just does Rihanna. Well, let's talk about getting put in a box. There's a new show called Sex Box, and it's on Wii TV, and it features couples having sex on television. They show troubled couples suffering from things like infidelity, trust issues. They're going to have sex in a soundproof, camera-free, hanging glass contraption while a panel of experts discuss their relationship just a few feet away. Then they're going to come out of the sex box and they're going to put out their er dirty laundry in front of a live studio audience. And what <laughs> network is that going to be on? Wee TV. I just told you. Come on, Wee, man. Do another season SWV or more Braxton's or something. Y'all ain't got to do no damn sex in the box. That well, sounds ridiculous. They said this show, there was a British version that was very popular overseas. So well, that's overseas. This is America. We don't need to see that, okay? I would have performance anxiety. I couldn't have sex in the box. <laughs> yeah, because you looked stunned when I told you just <laughs> like, now. <laughs> what? You can get hard under those conditions? <laughs> <What? laughs> no. All right, and Kanye West revealed why he doesn't like smiling. Now, he gave a speech, and he said he was inspired by a history book that he found at a flea market in Paris. He said, back when I was working on Jesus, I saw this book from the 1800s. It was a velvet covered with brass and everything. I looked at all these people's photos. They looked so real and their outfits were incredible and they weren't smiling. And people, you know, the paparazzi always come up to me. Why are you not smiling? And I think 
not smiling makes me smile. When you see paintings in an old castle, people are not smiling because it just wouldn't look as cool. First of all, I saw that article and I was like, what are they talking about? Kanye West is always showing his teeth. Yes, there's a lot of videos and pictures of him floating around mean mugging, but he smiles a lot. Yeah. I, yeah. Look, exactly. Well, I'm at both TV right, right now. Right right great all picture his of teeth showing. Smiling. All right, and last but not least, Bruce Jenner, who I guess is, in a way, Kanye's father-in-law. Mo- mother-in-law. <laughs> it's Kanye's mother-in-law. Now, his family and friends are concerned about his surgery transformation. They said that he is putting himself at a risk, his health. He's having terrifying complications because he had face, nose, neck, lips, and breast implants. He sculpted and reshaped his nose so much he can barely breathe out of it. They, he, they said he's worried he'll end up looking like Michael Jackson. What about his penis, though? Is that still there? I'm not sure, but we do know he had his Adam's apple reduced to look more feminine because he complained that his throat looked lumpy. Okay, and they're saying that his lip augmentation looks unnatural. And below the neck, he has been out wearing a sports bra in public recently because his breasts are droopy and saggy. One is bigger than the other. He doesn't look so good in a tight-fitting dress or blouse and I'm worried that his <laughs> plastic surgery could cost him his life. I just think it's whack that you wait till 60-something years old to, to say to yourself you want to be a bad bitch. Like, that's something you should have done when 65. you were younger. Yeah, you, you're 65 years old. It's too late for you to be a bad bitch, Bruce. It's over. All right, and that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. Now, Indy's not here, but he does oh, have a mix Oh, he sure coming isn't. Up. Wow, the power of technology, huh? Okay. Well, Envy's People's Choice Mix is up next. It's the All Breakfast right. Club. Now, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Okay. Sex in the City. This happened on one episode. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, a.k.a. Carrie Bradshaw, was tired of going to everybody's bridal showers, baby showers, all of that, uh-huh. having to buy gifts for everybody. So she set up a registry for herself so that all her friends that she had to get gifts for before had to get her presents. See, I'm not mad about that. She didn't marry herself. <laughs> exactly. I'm not mad about setting up a registry, a registry and getting gifts. But to actually have a ceremony That's and weird. marry That's even yourself, more depressing, probably, come on, man. than not being married. Come on. As your friend, when you invite me to this wedding, I will not attend. Okay? Oh, well, then that's really bad. No. Well, sorry. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Very ridiculous. Salute to Debbie Deb out there uh, in Houston on 93.7 The Beat. Did you go to the wedding, Deb? <laughs> huh, Deb? Now, when we come back, we got a weather update. I don't know what the hell we need a weather update for. It's going to snow. All well, right? I'll tell it's you how, to, how to be prepared, okay? It's, it's all bad, okay? Three you don't feet believe it's going to be that bad. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm an optimistic thinker. I'm just I see. wishing for the best, that's all. <laughs> but preparing okay. for the worst. It's the Breakfast Club. Ow! It's the world's most dangerous morning show, the Breakfast Club. Now, I don't usually eat sweets and stuff like this, but... uh, You're eating a cupcake? Yes, Miss, Miss Helen Liddell. Wow, I'm shocked. Co-workers here. Okay. Bought this tasty morsel. Well, you should save some of that up because there is going to be a big snowstorm today mm-hmm. in the Northeast. Over 3,200 flights have been canceled. So mm. make sure you check for your flight. We don't know where you're flying through or flying to, but see if you are affected by this. Now, it's important that you know what you need to do to prepare for a snowstorm, a blizzard. Make sure you have a full tank of gas. That will keep your fuel line from freezing. Make sure you insulate your home. Make sure you have all your heating equipment, your chimneys, whatever, cleaned. If you're not going to be away, if you're not going to be home, you're away during cold weather. Make sure you leave the heat on at a temperature no lower than 55 degrees. Make sure you have water, food, at least a three-day supply, flashlight, battery-powered radio, because you got to hear what we have to say. Extra batteries, first aid kit, sanitation, personal hygiene items. I don't understand why they tell you to fill up your gas tank. Full of full of fuel if you're not supposed to leave the house. Well, you want to make sure that your fuel line doesn't freeze. Oh. Right. Huh? Inside your car. My that dad, freezes? you know what? My dad used to tell me never to have my gas tank below half. Mm. So I always make sure I don't get really below half. It's not good for your car. Um, also, make sure you have extra cash. Make sure your cell phone is charged and make sure you have family and emergency contact information. And all of that. Just be prepared just in case of anything. You should have sand, rock salt, or kitty litter to make your walkway and your steps less slippery. And, of course, you need gloves, mittens, hats, boots, extra blankets, everything. You plan to sleep outside? Well, what, you got to go outside and get the snow out? You got to wipe your car off? Man, all, all of those you, things you need. All you need is little Debbie, snaps, little Debbie snacks and liquor, man. That's all. And you'll be fine.
Well, I made sure I went to the supermarket yesterday when I got back from Detroit. Bought a whole bunch of food. Me too. I have a lot of liquor. I have, a, I have friends staying at my house right now. So That's they came at the worst time possible. That's what I did. I got a lot of alcohol and I went to the grocery store yesterday and spent $250 in groceries. All right. So All right, I'm prepared. So- Yes, just keep on checking in with us, and we will keep on updating you. But that snowstorm is going to be starting in the Northeast today, so it's affecting a lot of travel plans. And uh, make sure you're prepared. That's it's, all we're saying. There's nothing you can do about it, dog. It's happening whether you want it to happen or not, okay? It's going down. All right. And that's yeah. all. Yeah. And DJ Envy will be back tomorrow. We really don't care. But... um. We'll be back with more after these messages. Yep. It's the Breakfast Club, the world's most dangerous morning show. I'm trying to sound enthusiastic, but I'm really not. Because we about to take this L to the snow, bro. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to lie. Well, one of my friends, shout out to my girl, Chase. She already um, sent me a text and asked, can we go sledding later? Sledding? Yeah, with her kids. Don't she know that there's going to be snowing? That's You need snow to sled. Yeah, but it's going to be <laughs> snowing. You can sled after the snow is settled. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. I actually enjoy doing things like that. I did that before. Hey, man. Just everybody that's, uh, 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 you know, in the Northeast. I like the snow. Everybody in the Northeast, Boston, Philly, New York, Jersey. What else? D.C. too, right? Maine. Maine. I, 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 Maine. <laughs> Philly. Philly. I said Philly. Just everybody, okay. just get ready to take this out. Okay? Sorry. All right. Well, I'm excited for it, and I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to take a lot of pictures outside in the snow. We're spending the night in the city. So we should have some fun. Maybe we'll go have some drinks tonight. Ain't got no choice. That's all it's about. It's about Little Debbie snacks and liquor. That's all it's about. I'm not going to have Little Debbie snacks, but maybe we can go eat at this Chinese restaurant and, you know, what sometimes things like this is open? fun and bonding. What makes you think they're going to be open, ye? Because we don't close for nothing. No <laughs> holidays. <laughs> no. Chinese people got a family, too. They want to get home. They're going to probably be closed by 4 o'clock this afternoon. We'll be at work. You better go get you some egg rolls now <laughs> and save them for I later. promise you, let's make a bet right now. I bet you it's going to be open later. I bet you they won't. You think they'll be open? Absolutely. Well, you know. You're part Chinese. Half, yeah. Yeah, so you know. <laughs> that doesn't mean I speak for all Chinese people and all <laughs> Chinese businesses. But you would know how y'all would handle these kind of situations. Well, how do black people handle these situations? <laughs> we closing up and going home. <laughs> That's what the hell we doing. I'm not trying to go to work. <laughs> All right. Well, again, if you don't have to go out, don't go out. And if you do have a flight schedule today, make sure you double, triple, quadruple check. Oh, that's another L. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> if you got a flight, it's over, buddy. Just sit your ass down. Go get your little Debbie snacks. I go love little negative relax. Nancy over there. In the corner. You, it's over, man. Everybody just get ready to take this L. There's nothing you can do. It's over. All right. Well, let's have some fun. Listen, Charlamagne, what's your positive note of the po- day? Positive note is the minute you settle for less than you deserve, you get even less than you settled for. Breakfast Club, bitches!